Hello guys, in today's video we shall study about implicit function that will help us in exercise 5.3 and above. So our main focus is about implicit function. So before we go for implicit function, we should know what is an implicit equation. So it's nothing more than an equation, an equation of the form f of x comma y is equal to zero. It's called an implicit equation and in a similar way a function determined by an implicit equation is called an implicit function By the way, you might be wondering what do you mean by it. So let me just give an example. An example would be an implicit function, sorry, an implicit equation would be in this type 2x minus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0, which is nothing more than this one. f of x is equal to 0, so this is the one. I hope you're clear. And your implicit function, your implicit function would be. From here, you have to find the value for y. So your y will be how much? Nothing more than 2x plus 7 divided by 3. So that is nothing more than your implicit function. Okay, now after implicit function comes the topic implicit differentiation. So because we're dealing with differentiation, so let me just say the process, the process of finding, the process of finding derivative, derivative i, derivative of implicit function is called implicit differentiation okay so let me just give this one to be equation number one so if I say differentiate equation one with respect to x so it will be how much dy by dx is equal to d by dx of 2x plus 7 divided by 3. So this one is nothing more than your implicit differentiation. So finding the value of dy by dx is nothing more than your implicit differentiation. So that's all about your differentiation. After this, please go through the formula of your inverse that's sine inverse, cos inverse, and differentiation of inverse, okay, which will be a textbook. All right, let us begin with exercise 5.3. Question is given to be find dy by dx in the following. Question number one, 2x plus 3y is equal to sine x. So same thing, just like exercise 5.2, I have to differentiate both sides with respect to x. Remember, I have to find implicit differentiation, that's dy by dx. So if I do that, I'll get here d by dx of 2x plus 3y is equal to d by dx of sin x now d by dx of 2 is constant so 2 so d by dx of x happens to how much 1 plus 3 is constant 3 so i'll get here dy by dx is equal to d by dx sin x how much cos x those who are wondering how did i got is this i differentiate this one with this i'll get dx by dx i got the answer one similar I differentiate this one with this i got the answer to be this one and d with sin x is cos x okay so this will be 3 dy by dx is equal to cos x minus 2. So your dy by dx would be cos x minus 2 divided by 3. That's all about your question number 1. Okay, let me do question number 3. Question number 3 is given to be this one. So same thing, differentiating both with respect to x. So I'll get here d by dx of ax plus b y square is equal to d by dx of cos y so same thing your a is constant so d by dx of x happens to how much one your b will be outside so it will be d by dx of y square i'm going slowly okay right now i'm just doing stepwise so same thing d by dx of cos y is how much minus sine y i'm considering this one to be your x right so d by dx of cos y happens how much minus sine y but is this x no so that will be your dy by dx i hope you are clear till there so that will be 
a plus d by dx of y square. Consider y to be x, so d by dx of x square is how much? Here, 2x, but this is not x, so that means I have to differentiate once again. So, minus sine y dy by dx. I'm going to bring this one over here, and I'm going to bring this one over here. So, I've got the answer to by plus sine y, because your dy by dx happens to be common, I'll just take common dy by dx is equal to minus a. So therefore, your dy by dx happens to be minus a divided by 2by plus sine y. That's your answer. Alright, let me do question number 8. The question number 8 is given to be sine square x plus cos square y is equal to 1. So same thing, differentiating both with respect to x. Okay, before I go for this one, this question, I can just make up in this manner also. Sine x, the whole thing square, plus cos y, the whole thing square is equal to 1. Same thing? Right. So I'm going to take this one. So if I differentiate, I'll get here d by dx of sine x, the whole thing square, plus cos y, the whole thing square is equal to d by dx of 1. I guess you are clear. Alright, uh, let me just break uh, do break them apart. Okay, so d by dx of sine x the whole thing square. I'll just do like this d by dx of sine x the whole thing square plus d by dx of cos y the whole thing square is equal to now d by dx of one. One is what your constant term. So one happens to be how much? Zero. Now I want you to consider this one to be your x. So d by dx of x square happens to be how much? 2x. But is this x? No, right? So differentiate once again. Clear. Similarly, go with this one. Consider this one to be x. So d by dx of how much? 2x. But is this x? No. So differentiate once again. I guess you're clear. Now the same thing. It will be. 2 sine x. So d by dx of sine x is how much? Cos x plus 2 cos y. d by dx of cos y happens to be how much? Consider this one to be x, right? So it will be your minus sine x. But is this x? No. So differentiate once again. So that will be 2 sine x cos x minus 2 sine y cos y dy by dx is equal to 0. So in short, minus 2 sine y cos y dy by dx is equal to minus 2 sine x cos x. Okay, so I can cancel minus minus. Remember, I can cancel your 2, 2 also, but I would say don't cancel. Why? Because there is a formula like this. What's the formula for 2 sine x cos x? It's sine 2x. Similarly, what's the formula for 2 sine y cos y? It's sine 2y. So here, yeah, dy by dx. So dy by dx happens to be sine 2x divided by sine 2y. Check once again. Alright, the next question is question number 9. Question number 9 is given the y is equal to sine inverse 2x divided by 1 plus x square. Okay, the difference between 1 till 8 and 9 till 15 is that in 1 till 8 there was no inverse but from question number 9 to 15 it's all about your inverse and again different lectures got different way of teaching mine I will just try to teach you in a very easy manner always try to remove this inverse and how to remove this inverse we have to use the formula and also use substitution method all right now in order to remove this sine inverse, I got inside the bracket 2x divided by 1 plus x squared. That means in order to remove sine inverse, I have to get sine over here. So that sine inverse and sine will cancel and there won't be any inverse. Yes or no? So this formula, that 2x divided by 1 plus x squared, it's a little bit similar to this one. 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. Check. See. 2, 2, x, then 1, 1, x squared, 10 squared. So in short, 
your x will happen to how much? 10 theta. And this one is nothing more than what? Sine 2 theta. The formula, which you should be knowing by now. I hope you're clear. So, how do this one? This is your rough part. So, how do you do this one? I can just say let what, uh, your x is equal to, sorry, let x is equal to your then theta. Then your y would be sine inverse 2 ten theta divided by 1 plus 10 square theta. Now, 2 ten theta divided by 1 plus 10 square theta happens to be how much? Sine inverse sine 2 theta. Now I can cancel this with this, right? So I get the answer y is equal to 2 theta. But your theta from here happens to be how much? Yes or no? Your theta, if 10 will come over here, so theta will be your 10 inverse x. So in short, y is equal to 2 10 inverse x. After that, you can say differentiating both with respect to x we get so if I division both with respect to x we'll get here dy by dx is equal to d by dx of 2 10 inverse x so 2 is constant to real so d by dx of 10 inverse x is how much 1 divided by 1 plus x square so which is 2 divided by 1 plus x square so that's your answer all right your question number 13 is also similar to question number 9 the only difference is that in question 9 you got sine inverse over here you got cos inverse so let me just do in the same way so let your x is equal to your 10 theta so if x is 10 theta it means your theta will be how much 10 inverse x so then your y would be cos inverse 2 10 theta divided by 1 plus 10 square theta so which would be cos inverse sine 2 theta now i see the difference okay actually i should be getting here what cos in order to cancel this cos inverse right so again the formula from your class 10 i would say will be how much cos inverse sine 2 theta means cos 90 minus theta is your sine theta right so cos cos cancel i'll get here pi by 2 minus 2 theta is how much your then inverse x that's your y i guess you're clear so again same thing differentiating both with respect to x i'll get here dy by dx is equal to d by dx of pi by 2 minus 2 then inverse x so d by dx of pi by 2 is constant so that will be 0 so d by dx of 10 inverse x is how much it will be minus 2 divided by 1 plus x square so that's your answer okay up till the question that we have done till now we have been taking the value for x to be 10 theta why because the formula used to come out but in question 14 if you happen to take the value for x to be uh, 10 theta you won't get the answer because there is no answer like that lies over here so what should be the value for x you have to think very carefully if you take the value for x to be sine over here okay so it will be sine 1 minus sine square theta 1 minus sine square theta will be how much so insert it will be how much sine and then 1 minus sine square right and there is root over so it will be sine and 1 minus sine square is how much cos i got here 2 yes or no so 2 sine let me see theta okay so 2 sine theta cos how much nothing more than sine 2 theta so I can cancel sign sign. I hope you're clear till there. So you should think in a very beautiful manner, I would say so. So over here, so I should take let x is equal to your sine theta. So implies your theta will be how much? Sine inverse x. Then your y would be sine, and then it will be 2 sine theta root over of 1 minus sine square theta. So that will be sine inverse 2 sine theta root over 1 minus cos is how much? Your cos theta. So that would be sine inverse sine 2 theta. 
So sine sine cancel, so that will be 2 theta. So theta is how much? Sine inverse x, that's your y. Now, differentiating both with respect to x, we get, so if I differentiate both with respect to x, I'll get how much? dy by dx is equal to d by dx of 2 sine inverse x. So how much is sine inverse x? It's nothing more than 1 by root over of 1 minus x square. So therefore, your dy by dx happens to be 2 root over of 1 minus x square. Alright, so pause the video in whichever equation you want to check once again and then see nicely.